I'm tired of every time I come to a shipper to get loaded, unloaded, whatever it may be, I drive containers. So you know, I gotta use the cutters to, to break the seal. Dude looking at me talking about, do you need help? What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Do you need help? Help or no help? Which one do you do? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I hope everybody doing real good this morning. It's been a real crazy week so far. And I'm telling you, it's only Tuesday. So my question is, where are the real gentlemen at in trucking? I'm tired of every time I come to a shipper to get loaded, unloaded, whatever it may be. I drive containers. So you know, I gotta use the cutters to, to break the seal. Dude looking at me talking about, do you need help? Well, if you see me down here struggling, you know I ain't but this tall. And sometimes them likes be all the way up there. You see me struggling, but you wanna ask me, do I need help? Just be a gentleman, come on down here and help a sister. Like I appreciate any kind of help anybody want to give me I'm not gonna say no and if I need help I'm gonna ask whoever I see because this stuff ain't always easy it ain't a cakewalk and forget pride uh, that's all out the window so I just want to know where are the real gentlemen's at like when you see somebody struggling help a sister out that's all I'm saying help a sister out all right guys you heard it for yourself so nah nah we're not gonna do that <laughs> we're not gonna do that it's a trick it's a trick. Help versus no help. Help versus no help, man. I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, if y'all see a female out there struggling with backing, getting her trailer doors open, sliding tandems, or any of the or anything, do you offer any kind of help? I don't know because some of you guys say that when y'all do offer some help, you know, the female always think that it's, it's always on some other stuff. Now, I understand after you guys offer some help, then y'all change the whole vibe of the situation. Oh, well, uh, I, I see you don't have nobody in the truck, would you? How, how you doing? Hey, how can I call you? Or can we get together later on at night? No, bro. We don't do that. We don't do that. We go over there. We offer some assistance if they take it. If they take the assistance, give it to them. Knock it out for them. Hopefully, it's a teachable moment. And then we move on now if we're going into the store or we at the fuel island maybe a little bit of casual back and forth but that's it don't don't get weirded out bro don't get weirded out all right okay y'all okay i know it's been a couple days since i've been on here but i've been reading the comments i've been reading y'all comments and i got something to say especially to you men and i'm gonna get on the women too but especially you men i don't, I don't like that and i'm about to tell y'all what i don't like so my last video was about um people watching me struggle in the rail yard instead of helping now again let me reiterate that i do not expect help and i don't feel entitled to any help from anyone all i was saying is if you're not gonna help sit the fuck back and shut the fuck up and wait till i'm doing parking that's all now, a lot of men are saying that they will never help another woman because every time they try to help a woman, they act as if they don't need the help, they don't want the help, or as if the man is just being thirsty. Now, in some women's defense, sometimes that is the case. As far as the being thirsty part, not wanting to need help, I, have, I don't understand that because me? Oh, baby, help me. Any person that has asked me, do I need help? Yes, I need help me. Show me. But I'm different. Me, I'm always trying to learn. I'm always trying to grow. So I'm going to take whatever help I can get. As far as you women, I understand want to be independent, maybe, if that's the case, and not wanting or needing help. But can you start letting these fellas down gently? Because they are in their fucking feelings about it, okay? 
and y'all fucking it up for the rest of us like me who actually won't help when they in the, in the damn grill yard struggling okay you ain't always gotta be so nasty to give attitude you know what i'm saying when you decline and help it's a such thing as letting somebody down easy if you know what i'm saying now back to my men stop letting one ruin it for all because goddamn it just as many I mean, just as many as it is of us that that uh may not want help or feel like they don't need it it's just as many of us that want it okay baby i didn't have to flag people down i'm talking pull my truck in front of the yard jockey little little vehicle to stop them so they can help me that to the point that they could no longer move without helping me knocked on doors i have no shame in my game if i'm truly struggling i'm going to ask for help but i'm making this video to say what is the real issue like how y'all really feeling and I really want to hear from my women, especially the ones who like feel like they don't want or need help, but they do need help. And then for my men, like, why y'all ain't one bad apple spoil it for the rest? I mean, at the end of the day, I just feel like, and I am a new trucker, so let me know if this is not half truck and go. But in my mind, we one big happy family. We out here making the motherfucking world go around, okay? We make this shit pop. Would none of this shit be here if it wasn't for us hopping our asses in these big ass trucks and driving around the world or the city, whatever the case may be. So we supposed to be one happy family. Why I feel like we against each other? Like, damn, see a trucker, help a trucker. I don't know. Maybe it was the way I was raised, but y'all, y'all different. Like, what's really going on? All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So let's see what you guys are saying, because there's a lot of comments that's going back and forth on this particular topic right here of help or no help. You see a young lady struggling. Do you go over there and help her? Or do you just break out? Let hold on, hold on. Let me let, let me rewind. You see someone struggling because I see this a lot on TikTok. And I just want to get you guys' opinions. That's what I'm gonna do. That's that's what I want to do. I'm I'm gonna lay it out for you guys to conversate in the in the comments below. If you see somebody struggling and and you see they might need some help. Do you help them? Do you go over there and offer some assistance? Do you do that? Do you break out your camera and just record their struggles? Do you do that? Okay. Which which one do you do? Are you like the are you like the ones that will sit back and watch somebody struggling? while over here explaining to the people online about their struggle do you guys do that all right y'all so look check this out this driver has had fucking trouble getting on this cat scale i have never seen a driver have so much trouble getting on a cat scale it's remarkable because you know i will help you back up I'm not helping you get on no cat scale. I'm sorry. Now, the trailer was worse than what it is right now because when I saw it, the trailer was about to flip over because the angle that the, the trailer was on. So you got this guy right here stopping because he's like, man, what the fuck going on? He's actually trying to help the driver. Man, look, if you cannot get on the cat scale, I'm not helping you. I'm going to help you back up. Sure, I'm going to help you back up to a spot. Sure. I'm not helping you going forward. So, you got this guy help trying to help, right? He's trying to help. He ain't doing no good to the driver because the driver still is having difficulties getting on this cat scale. So, <clears throat> and the, what the driver can do is so simple, but you have the driver has to learn that on their own. I'm not helping. I'm sorry. I'm just in one of these situations. I'm just not helping. So, the driver is going to reattempt what you see right here. And still, it's not going to be able to get on the cat scale. Still having trouble getting on the cat scale. And I'm about to show you a simple thing that the driver can do to actually get on this scale. But, I think they're scared. You know, they think the trailer might hit somebody, but... It's not, but like I said, man, it's just one thing I got to let you, you know, at that, that type of situation, I got to let you learn yourself. But basically, all this person had to do was hug 
where the other trucks is parked at, which I'm about to show you in a couple of seconds, is hug where the trucks is parked at. Swing wide and get on the skill. Pull up, back up on the skill, like right here. He had all he had to do was hug them trucks, swing wide, and get on the scale, and we would have been golden. He would have been golden. But one of the situations you got to learn how to do that, man. I'm not helping you on that. So still having trouble getting on. And at this point, at this point, they back up, and they just say fuck it. I think they didn't had enough embarrassment, and. They just gonna go to another truck stop and try it again. Bagging up because they still can't get on the scale, which is just phenomenal to me. I never saw it. I never saw a truck driver have trouble getting on the scale. So now they just gonna leave. Because that's what they did. They just gonna leave and try that shit again at another truck stop. You need to go back to training. Alright, guys, you heard it for yourself. Sir. Are you this guy? Are you are you this guy right here? Are you this guy? right you're you're in your truck you see that the young man over there is struggling he probably might be a new driver i don't know he probably might be dyslexic i don't know something is going on with the guy i don't know but yet instead of explaining everything that you're explaining to the people online Instead of getting out of the truck and explain that same process to the person that might need some help. Neil Joel in the comments says, you're part of the problem, bro. You should have went out and tell him that. Generosity goes long way. Dude is just probably fresh out of school. Exactly. Exactly. You don't know the situation. You're not going to get out to help him drive forward, but you'll get out and help him back up. Right? Right? <laughs> this might be a driver that's just now getting on his own. And now that he had to scale his load, fuel his truck, he don't have he don't have the backing of his trainer anymore. And everybody in your comment session is asking the pivotal question. Why you didn't help, bro? Now, I understand where the females is coming from as far as what they talking about, you know, guys not helping them because they might feel some kind of way. I get that. I get that. But if you see a situation like this, the idea is to break out your phone and record the bro and talk about the bro and how bad he's doing wouldn't it be better to break out the phone go over there and be like yo bro let me help you out right quick wouldn't that be wouldn't wouldn't that get more views guys wouldn't it i'm just curious let me know in the comments below this guy says bro told us instead of telling the person that actually need it yes yes but what about old school drivers though what about us old school drivers that see new tiktok drivers and they're in the area that you feel that might be a little bit dangerous yeah <clears throat> what's going on i'm sitting over here waiting for west rock load over here in illinois gonna be going home this week but um last night i was going across my fyu page fyp whatever the fuck um this girl came up i don't follow her this young girl she's over in fucking arkansas or some shit something trucker doll I, I don't know exactly the rest of her name or whatever but you know she was in arkansas or some shit and she was sitting down eating and that's all i said to this chick was um this young rookie driver that's all i said to her was like hey um be careful out in Arkansas. that's it i'm gonna be all right i'm gonna be all right i don't been here before i know what i'm doing it's like damn i'm just telling you to be you know you know to be careful you know arkansas is different i told you i'm gonna be all right and i was like you know I, I so i sent her a database you know the 
um, Sun Downtown database, right? I sent it to her. And she said, I can't click no link in it. I say, no, just use it as a resource, ma'am. That's all. Just use it as a resource, you know? Like, just, you know, look at what it is and say, okay, boom, I research it on Google, whatever, and it'll bring you, she'll bring you to it. And um, she goes, you know, I'm not going to be with you. Now. You ain't going to aggravate me right now. The chick blocked me now. Now, she's a fucking rookie driver. You know, and I, I've been out here for a minute, okay? And that's all I was doing, trying to tell her. It's like, hey, be careful. You know, be careful everywhere, but be careful out in Arkansas because it's fucking different in Arkansas. It is. You can, there's, there's a city in Arkansas, right? And I forgot the name of it. There's, it's, Arkansas is pretty much the whole thing is, is, is it's kind of shitty um, as far as um, racism goes, okay? And and I was trying to tell the chick, hey, blah, blah, blah. Now, you younger drivers come out here and you guys know, you think you know every fucking thing just as your generation does and just in everything else in life. And you guys never fucking want to listen. You do somebody trying to tell you, you know, looking and seeing what you're doing as far as you're getting ready to hit somebody's shit. And you fucking don't want to listen. Blowing your horn at you, you don't fucking want to listen. Try to assist you in some type of way, give you a little, little, give you a resource. A little knowledge or something whatever i'm not no super trucker i just was like hey use it as a resource check out when you go to certain places you ass end up in fucking viker texas and you ain't gonna fucking like it and i mean you're not gonna motherfucking like it okay there's fucking sundown towns in every motherfucking state everyone okay so i was just like this she turned around she blocked me i didn't really give a shit but i was like fuck i say like, damn ma'am you know what i say damn I ain't told. I say, man. I say, damn, ma'am. You don't have to be so rude. I'm just, just use it as a resource. I was trying to tell you that was it, and we'll go about my day. And she turned. She blocked me on her live, and I was like, okay, you know, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. You wonder why nobody want to help y'all ass? That's the fucking why. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So now I know which TikToker he's talking about. Uh, it's the female. Uh, that thinks that she's like an owner operator, but she's like a, a, a lease op over at Prime out of all places, <laughs> you know, Prime, but you know it all. You know everything. Here's old school trying to tell you about the area where you're at. You're in Arkansas. Arkansas don't rock well with with the colors, if, if you guys know what I mean. Okay, they don't rock well. Some areas don't rock well with minorities. Okay, as as you may know, my guy Gideon made a video about sundown towns. And if y'all don't know what that means, look it up. Because there are some towns that you need to get the F up out of there before the sun goes down. Especially if you're a minority. I'm just saying. So he was just trying to explain to her, like, yo, sister girl, you know, I'm, you know, I'm I'm just letting you know about these towns and these areas. I just want you to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more safe. You know, just watch yourself. But no, no, you're no, no, ma'am. Ma'am, she canceled him blocked her she ain't want to hear what he have to say but maybe what he had to say what could have could have saved her life in any case yo i listen let me tell you something i listen to these old school guys because they've been out here the longest and they know they see they they critique they know what's up that's why the old school drivers don't want to talk to you new school drivers because y'all think y'all know everything now y'all think y'all know everything now it's not always the case a little help a little help goes a long way goes a long way and again like I said, guys, if y'all not hip to sun down towns, look it up. Look it up. If you get a if you get a dispatch that say, hey, go down to such and such Texas, you might want to look that town up before you accept that load. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, listen, 
help versus no help. Do you do you guys give the help or do you guys just break out the phone? Now, the one guy going to come back and explain why he's not part of the problem. How the fuck am I part of the problem? The school that let him pass to get his CDL is a part of the problem. I'm not saying he shouldn't have a CDL. All I'm saying is the school that trains him is a part of the problem. It ain't me. You usually get a hang of driving the truck forward first. That's the easy part. The hard part is backing up, learning your angles to back up and not hit nothing. That's the hard part. The part that that driver is struggling with is going forward. That's a part you should not be struggling with. That lets me know he had poor training. That ain't my fault. It's some things that a driver needs to learn on their own. Backing, I understand. But going forward and you saying I'm the problem? The fuck? All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So he blames the school. I, I mean, he, 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 he might have a point. He might have a point there. Point taken. The schools, the trainers, the companies that they drive for, just put these new jet drivers in the seat and send them off to the woods. Hey, we'll see you later. You're on your own. Hey, what can I? No, 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 you're good. But bro, you are part of the problem. And see, the problem is you don't even see it. You don't even see it. You one of these camera cultures that want to get your phone out and record somebody's inconsistencies for views, admiration, likes, comments and all like that majority of your comment session on this particular video you got everybody that's agreeing with you yeah bro you the man bro you're right bro you you do the right thing bro no bro the right thing to do at that time and if you saw the young man or woman struggling like that was to get out and offer some help or at least offer let them turn you down right right women women if you got it turn us down and say hey i got it i don't need no help hey no problem then you can go back to your phone and to the people who you was talking to and say hey they got it i offered don't just don't just be like these guys that run the video afterwards and then say in the video, well, you know, I got out the offer to help and they said no. Why didn't you show that? Why 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 didn't you show that? Why why you didn't show that you got out and actually help? Help or no help? Which ones, guys? Which one? Again, like I said, do you, do you guys help? Do you guys offer? Or do you guys just sit back and break out the phone and record and then hurry up and get it up on TikTok and hope that the video go viral? Drivers, that's my thoughts. Tell me yours in the comments below. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, a went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got pops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Elephant to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.